Welcome back to the channel. This channel was founded on the experience with the tool and explaining on how to get things done. It wasn't necessarily all about tools, just tools, 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 tools. Yeah, I do have a tool addiction and I do like tools, but you'll notice I don't have every tool and I don't plan on having every tool. I have tools that work for me and I have tools that I think can work really well for you. And that's the tools that I show you. But I've got something else to offer that most people don't. And that would be experience with the tool, experience in the field. So stick around. We are going to start kind of a new series on work ethic or work etiquette. And it's going to help you be more productive. It's going to help you save money. It's going to help you save time. More importantly, it's going to keep you safe and it's going to prevent accidents. Now, when I say accidents, I don't just mean bodily injury or, you know, near misses. I'm talking about accidents where, for example, yeah, this looks really nice. It looks professional for a customer. Got your drill standing up. That looks really good. But what happens if someone bumps this and your drill just damaged the floor? or you have a bit in your drill and it sticks right in there, just sticking out of the floor like this, going doing, 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 doing. What are you gonna do when you could have simply laid your tool down like that? Look at this. No matter what you do, the tool will not fall. We almost actually made that whole thing fall. Uh, case in point though, the only time that I will set my tool on a table upright will be this one condition. And that would be if the surfaces around me, doesn't matter. If it falls, it's just concrete, whatever it is. Or first off, if it's not a wooden table, like I would never set my drill on a customer's table in general without some kind of drop cloth or anything like that. But if this was a surface that I didn't care about and that I know the drill can't fall off of the table and damage another surface, any way it falls, it's not falling on the floor. It's not falling on my toes. You're not gonna lose money on the job. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what you charge for the job. You charge $2,000 to hold a toilet paper holder and you dag your drill into somebody's floor with something just like that, you know, it doesn't matter what you charge for the job, you've just lost money, you just lost time, and the chance of that new floor matching the old floor is almost zero. So now you're replacing the whole floor because the floor is swinging grooves, so you already you gotta pull up baseboard, you gotta pull up the whole floor, you gotta get to where that damaged area is, then you gotta start laying the new floor, then you realize that the new floor doesn't match because the old floor is oxidized or the sun has gotten to it, it's not the same. Now you gotta buy the whole thing. Just things like that. Think about what you're doing and always, you know, where are your tools? What can possibly happen? Can I pull a reciprocating saw blade out of this saw? Even though I'm about to pick it up and use it, is it better to pull the blade out now in case the saw was to spin? Can the saw spin along the floor with the blade sticking out and stab into the baseboard of a cabinet, for example? Things like that. Think about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.